so can you please brief introduce the business scope of your company in China? Mm. Okay, sure. So, mm. uh, so my my firm is DHR International, right? Uh, mm. We're an executive search firm, right? And mm -hmm. we are um, our headquarters is in is in Chicago. Uh, mm -hmm. With China for oh gosh, I I want to say more than ooh, close to twenty years or so. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. we've been for a while. Uh, I currently have two offices, one in Beijing and one in Shanghai. Um, um, we're in the business of uh, helping actually big corporations uh, look for senior executives. So uh, you know, it usually is C level positions. It could be a you know, it could be a startup company looking for a CEO, or it could be you know they're looking for a uh, someone to to uh, to to improve their operations, like a COO, or maybe you know someone someone is planning to go IPO and they might need a financial officer, that kind of stuff. Sounds like really like tailored services for some yeah. different like specific problem and specific company. And um, and just moving to our next question. So um, so what's what's the motivation for DHR International to actually participate at the uh, twenty twenty one Asia Enterprise of Tomorrow Conference? Mm, mm, mm. Yes. So um, I'm I'm interested in 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 West China, right? Um, we've always been very much focused on on well, Beijing, uh, right? Beijing. Uh, so. So northern China, eastern China, uh, southern China, we've very much been focused on this area, right? Uh, we are very well aware of, you know, the developments that are going on in in Chongqing and Chengdu with with logistical infrastructure, the roads, the railways. You know, I know that we we do know that the government is investing a lot in infrastructure and building up the capability there. You know, with Belt and Road. Uh, you know, I think it's a good opportunity for us to to find out more. If we have leaders from different companies that are going to converge and, and gather there, uh, I think it's valuable for us to be there to understand what they are thinking um, and, and yeah, and see if there are opportunities to, to, to cooperate. So because we are going to present um, at this conference, so can you mm -hmm. please give us a preview about the topic you are going to present and how does that um, relate to a further development within the Southwest China and including Chongqing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I, I'm going to be on a panel that speaks about uh, China's powering growth, um, a global opportunity. So I'm going to speak on that panel with uh, in a couple of other other uh, guest executives as well. Um, in my mind, I, I I see a couple of things happening. Um, I, you know, I, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, you know, just in the near term, right? Uh, for 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 foreign companies uh, to work more with 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 Chinese companies, like working the domestic market, so focusing on the domestic local market um, for the near term. And I think that the second part of it is, you know, I see um, Chinese companies going overseas, uh, expanding overseas. I believe with the if you look at the the way countries are controlling the pandemic. I think overall Asia as a whole will recover much faster. China has already recovered. Uh, next step is the rest of Asia. So I see business with rest of Asia uh, opening up as the next stage, and that's going to happen pretty quickly. I see a lot of opportunity in, in digitization uh, with the advancement of technology, um, you know, with the, with the proliferation of 5G technology across you know, everywhere in, in, in China. Uh, you were mentioning about the Asian economy. So I would like to know that um, what are the potential opportunities you see with the development of Chongqing enterprises? And like in general, like Chongqing's business environment in your perspective. I want to list three, three things in particular. First, infrastructure, right? And I think the, the Chongqing government has really done a really good job in terms of, like I said earlier, logistics, um, you know, roads, trains, you know, uh, basically the, the, the hot infrastructure, right? Uh, I think that's that's resolved. Second thing that all businesses look at is cost of doing business. So if I compare, um, relatively, Western China would be relatively more, how would I say, more competitive than, let's say, 
you know, Shanghai or Guangzhou, that it's 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 more how would I say it's more highly utilized, highly developed already. Yeah. So I think that's a that's basically a, a cost advantage that 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 Chongqing would have. So that's two. And the third area actually is is very important. Uh, is is talent. Yeah. So when companies make decision, right? Okay, you have the infrastructure. Hey. It, it, it's, it's cost efficient for me to do business here. Now, the third thing would be talent. Am I able to find the talent? I noticed there are a lot of um, cloud data centers by the big internet companies that are in, uh, currently in, in, in Chongqing. I noticed that, right? Um, part of it is, is some of these big you know, tech companies establishing themselves as a sort of as a, as a, as a, as a headquarter in Chongqing. Right, and I think that would serve to to expedite the the speed of uh, how do I say of 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 Chongqing becoming a, a a premier hub for technology.